Hey guys, welcome to another video and it is very very rare that in a day I would upload two videos. But the earlier video today, episode 5 of Truth About Xiaomi Software Updates was already due for today. And this from me and the OF gang who is the development group behind this particular software or ROM. This is a gift for all the POCO F1 users and subscribers and I would highly recommend you go to their telegram group and thank them, support them by donating if you you can because they are doing a brilliant job. So what do we have today? We have Oxygen OS based on the OnePlus 8 of Android version 11. That means one of the latest builds ported to the Pocophone F1. I've been playing with it for like 30 minutes. So we're going to have a quick overview on it. I will quickly tell you how I installed it and the link to the Telegram group. But before we do all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each and every video, you will find a link to our Telegram channel. Go ahead and join us there and get all your questions answered. At the same time, if you wish to support us, please click on the join button. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So what do we have here? As I said, device name OnePlus 8, but yes indeed it is a Pocophone F1. Android version 11, December security patch, a custom kernel to make this build work perfectly fine. These are the developers in case you wanna, you know, go ahead and find them and thank them. This is all the information about the ROM. Now, what I would like to share over here is if you have a look, I mean, I was also playing PUBG and I will do a live stream on this particular ROM because yeah, I have some decent exciting news for you guys after a long time. So this is the group that we are talking about Oxygen OS by OOF Gang. And this is the post, this is the latest post which was posted today. In fact, it is actually a New Year's gift for everyone. So it is an initial build based on our pretty much everything works. Some new weird stuff from OnePlus. I don't know about that. New Magisk Hide is working. Okay, they have not bothered to check much of the bugs, but I have not seen many bugs as far as usability is concerned. Fingerprint is working fine, calling, messaging, everything is working fine. There is no built-in camera application, so I have not actually gone ahead and installed a camera application. So I will try Google Cam or something and I will definitely make a complete review of this ROM. Now let's see what else do they have to say. There are two files that you will need to flash this particular ROM and the third file that you will need is the TWRP. So I will link their group in the description and the TWRP as well. So first make sure you are on the TWRP by this particular group and then format data. Okay. And then you have to do reboot recovery. All right. And after you're back in recovery, wipe everything, including internal storage, and then connect your phone to the computer, copy the firmware and the ROM, flash both of them, first the firmware, then the ROM and wipe cache and reboot. Those are the clear, simple instructions, which you will find also over here. Okay. Now these are the notes use OF gang TWRP. Don't bother complaining. Otherwise, these are all the things that are mentioned over here and you have to go ahead and give them credits. They are doing a brilliant job because although there might be some bugs, which I have not experienced, but you know, if I have a look, it's, it's smooth after the whole debacle of how laggy Xiaomi is making their phones with software updates. We have small groups like these guys who are like, I don't know, two, five, 10, 15 people at the most who are making a hell of a difference to this particular device. And you can already see how responsive this is. Uh, matter of fact, I mean, PUBG works fine on 60 FPS. I just played like a couple of TDM matches and it was doing absolutely fine on smooth extreme. But I was also getting the smooth 90 FPS mode because the game thinks that this is a one plus eight, which is a very, very good thing. So, you know, overall, if you have a look, the app open animations over here, everything is pretty quick, pretty smooth, pretty slick. Uh, matter of fact, if you actually go to settings over here, you have all the dark mode, all the OnePlus customizations and go to this section over here. You see this, you see the smoothness. This is what we are talking about. In fact, as you can see over here, the multitasking menu also works perfectly smooth and perfectly fine. If you use the Android 10 
navigation gestures like it works perfectly fine so all in all you know as a first impression it is really really amazing it doesn't come with a lot of bloatware in fact all the google applications as well were not there just the play store and basic stuff that is needed was there and uh, i did go ahead and launch the pubg mobile application or the game it worked just fine we have the default one plus launcher over here wherein you have live wallpapers you have ambient display wherein you know if you lift the display would come up and you can also double tap to enable or disable and there you see so you know one thing that i would like to share here i don't really know what are the bugs over here i will be using this phone with this particular rom for the next one or two days before i actually go ahead and give you guys a review but overall even if you have a look at it the way it looks right now the rom looks beautiful let me tell you that and the best part is even if you launch a game say you launch pubg mobile over here you will see that it says gaming mode on it has this new sort of gaming mode animation and all the new features of screen recording and stuff so you know i've not tested screen recording but it does display the temperatures of you know the cpu and the battery by default which is a really really good thing so all in all this is a very very new exciting rom based on the absolute latest android version as corrected to me by some random subscriber that android 10 is not latest i know i do my homework before making videos anyways that is not what i meant what i meant is it's it's working perfectly fine there is no issues as such i mean i have not had any force close no random reboots the battery is doing fine voice over wifi is working i've not tested carrier video call in so all in all by the time i go ahead and review this why don't you go ahead and you know thank them in their group and support them in your own way and install this rom and give it a try so that when i live stream with this particular rom yes i will live stream pubg with this particular rom and see with the fps meter and temperature the same old way like we always do how it goes and uh, one exciting thing that i have come up with whenever i review uh, whenever i review a rom for the poco phone f1 remember that chart of truth behind xiaomi software updates we will now keep adding roms to that particular list so not only we have android updates of uh, or miui updates of poco phone f1 from the first to 12 and then we will add this rom whatever next rom we install and make a video about so we will have a complete database for all our subscribers and the list will just keep growing give this video a like if you think this is an exciting exciting way of testing stuff for the poco phone f1 and please share it as much as you can i'm doing a lot of hard work to bring this channel up and make sure everyone knows that smartphone tutorials is doing great i wish you guys a really really great and amazing happy new year until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye